Hey, it's No Felina. Welcome to my channel. If you would like to see how I did these marble ombre nails from start to finish, just keep watching. So I did go ahead and apply the tips off camera. I used Nail House's extra long tips. And now I'm just dehydrating the nail with 70% alcohol. And whenever I do my application, I do like to prime each nail one at a time before application. I just have noticed it has helped with retention. So the colors I will be using for this marble ombre is Tickled Pink from Acrylics, Snow White from Nail House, and then the nude I will be blending into the two colors is soft peach from not polish i have gotten a request to do this so like i said before if you would like something specific to be done just let me know and i will make sure to record it i had um two people ask me to do a marble ombre tutorial so um the marble part is pretty simple you're just taking two colors and you're just swirling them into each other until you get the look you're going for you definitely want to make sure the consistency of your beads are wet enough for the colors to blend into each other but then again um dry enough to where they're not going all over the place if that makes sense so it's definitely important to make sure you have your liquid to powder ratio good to go when doing a marble
Keeps on playing games and his love it ain't the same. I don't know what to say, but what a shame. You a man who would not get the same. You a man who would top everything. Suicide on the drop, put your names on the things. No fire beating, no propane. Got to keep loving, girl, can I be faint? To keep up 100, girl, I ain't no shame. But he the only reason that I'm feeling this way. You can do the world, baby, when you get space. Play games, give me name, baby, that's a trade. Oh, So this is application, super clean and neat. And whenever I do go to a file, I am using my Nail House 8080 grit file.
Whenever I do seal my cuticle, I do use a fine sandy band to do that, as well as going over the nail just to make sure there's no imperfections. Um, I definitely don't try to debulk the nail. I try to get my application as good as possible so that whenever it gets to the step, all I'm really doing is sealing the cuticle and just lightly um, smoothing out the top of the nail. So after sealing the cuticle, I am just going in with a orange buffer from Amazon. I will link it below just to smooth out the nails. Make sure everything's nice and smooth before applying your top coat. Now I am just applying top coat. I am using the top coat from Zen Blend Acrylics. If you are looking for a new top coat, this one is bomb. I will definitely link it below. I know this was a pretty simple set, but someone did request the Marble Ombre. So I definitely wanna make sure that I get all those requests. So if you are wanting to see something specific done, please comment down below and let me know what you want to see next.
and after I do cure the top coat I do go back and file the nails one more time it definitely makes a huge difference as far as shape um, when you do top coat sometimes it takes away from your shape and you just want to get that shape back so yeah now they're definitely giving crispy and this is the final product don't forget to like and subscribe thank you so much for watching and don't forget to comment and let me know what you want to see next bye guys